Hello everyone. Welcome back to Crochet with Lisa. In my video tutorial today, I'm going to show you how I crochet this beautiful border. You can use this border on any afghan or other crochet project. I'll be demonstrating it on a smaller sample just for this video tutorial. This border starts with a foundation row of single crochet stitches all the way around. There are also double crochet and treble crochet stitches and a picot at the top. The sample that I'm showing you today uses yarn that is a weight of four and a five millimeter crochet hook. I hope you enjoy my video and find it easy to follow. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel to follow along with other great projects. Let's get started. Attach. To begin this border, we're going to attach our yarn to one of the sides of our work. I usually like to tie my yarn just with a half knot. So we'll put our hook through. We're going to chain one and then we'll do a single crochet in that same space. We'll single crochet in each stitch around to lay a good foundation for our border. When you get to your corners, Put three single crochet in your corner space. So I'm at the corner here, and in this one space I'll put three single crochets. So just try and space your single crochets evenly all the way around. We'll meet back where we started this row. I'm back at the beginning and I'm just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet, our second row, we're going to chain one, we're going to single crochet in that same space and we'll single crochet in each space all the way around except when we get to the corners you're going to find that middle corner single crochet and you're going to put three single crochets in that space. So let's work all the way around, single crochet in each single crochet, three single crochets in your corner single crochet, then we'll meet back at the beginning. All right, I'm back at the beginning of that round, so we're just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. So now we have two rows of single crochet we're going to chain four. So when we chain four, then we're going to skip our next single crochet, and we're going to do a double crochet in our next one. Chain one, skip a single crochet, do a double crochet in the next one. So chain one, skip a single crochet, and then we do a double crochet in our next one. Now when we get to our corner, so I've done my chain one, here's my corner um, single crochet do a double crochet in there, chain three, and double crochet in the same space. And then we just continue all the way around with chain one, skip a single crochet, double crochet. So continue that all the way around. This is what your work should be looking like. And we'll meet back here at the beginning. Okay, so when you get to the end of this round, I have my chain one after my double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain one, two, three of that beginning chain four. We're going to chain one and then we're going to do a single crochet in that same spot. Okay, so we're going to come to our next double crochet 
and in the top of this one we're going to do a double crochet, a, tre a treble crochet, so yarn around twice, go through and then yarn around, pull through two, pull through the next two, and pull through the last two. We're going to chain four, then we're going to come down and we're going to slip stitch into that first chain or you can go through that first chain right here but I kind of like to go through these two loops right below that first chain just keeps it on there a little bit neater then in that same space down there we're going to do another treble crochet and a double crochet in that same space okay, so you should have something that looks like this we're going to go to our next double crochet and we're going to do a single crochet in that one okay so that it will be our pattern going around so let's do our next one again we're going to go to our next double crochet and we're going to put a double crochet in the top of it then we'll put a treble crochet in that same space. We're going to do our chain four. It's our little pico at the top. We're going to come down and slip stitch into that, to the bottom of your chain four or the top of your treble. Then we're going to do another treble crochet. and another double crochet. We'll go to our next double crochet and we'll do a, a single crochet. Okay, so we'll just continue around following that same pattern till we get back to the beginning. Just getting to the end of the row now. So I've done my shell here. Ideally, I wouldn't have a double crochet left and I would just slip stitch into that first single crochet. But because I do have this extra double crochet. I'm just going to do a single crochet in the top of this one and then slip stitch over here where I did that very first single crochet. And I'll just fasten off. My little sample of border is complete. I really hope you enjoyed following along in this tutorial with me today and you found this video easy to follow. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and you can follow along with some of my other great projects. So happy crocheting and have a great day.